Tutorial. Adding an opt-in box to your WordPress site using Git Response. What is an opt-in box? An opt-in box, or opt-in form, is a form you can add to your website that will allow you to collect email addresses, which can then be used to market to people. Here's an example of an opt-in box. You've probably seen these on websites before. In many cases, you see an opt-in form on a website inviting people to enter their name and email address, and sometimes other information. In order to subscribe to a newsletter or download a special freebie, like an ebook, article, or a report. When someone enters their information into an opt in box, they get stored in a database by your email service provider so you can build up a list of leads and send them email promotions, newsletters, etc. Creating your opt in form. In order to create an opt in box, you first need to start an account with an email service provider. You want to use GitResponse as your email service provider. You can find them at www.getresponse.com forward slash index forward slash brainhost. Now once you've created your account with GitResponse, put in your username and password and log in. Once you're logged in, go ahead and click on web forms right here. This will expand into a drop down menu. Choose create new right there. On this page, you'll be able to design your opt-in box. The first thing you want to do is choose a template. The template determines what your opt-in box will look like. You can choose from a variety of different templates for your opt-in box from here. When you click on the template that you want, a box will pop up that will give you a preview of your template and let you choose your color scheme, like so. You can either choose Cancel to choose a different template or choose your color scheme for the one you selected and click Apply right there. Once you choose your template, scroll down to the page to the section where you can decide what to include in your opt-in box. Now as you can see, the default opt-in box requires website visitors to enter their name and email address. You can add additional fields that visitors need to fill out using the menu to the right. To add one of these fields, like city or phone number, just click on the one that you want to add and drag it over to where you want to add it, like so. Now once you drop the new field in where you want it to go, it will open up and give you the option to either edit or remove that field. Edit or remove. Now you can add as many fields as you want, but keep in mind that you shouldn't add a field just for the sake of adding it. The more things you ask a visitor to fill out, the less likely they will be to opt in on your website. You should only require someone to enter information that you actually need. For example, if you are planning to market to someone via email, there is no need to have them enter their physical address or phone number. If on the other hand, you are going to send out physical flyers through the mail, you would want to add an address field. Now to change your opt-in box header, where it says headline, right here, Click on Edit Header right there. Now this will open a box that will let you type in your own content. When you're happy with that, hit Apply. Now when you're happy with your opt-in box, click Save Web Form right here, and then click Next Step right there. Now on this page, you can adjust your settings for your opt-in box. Besides changing your web form's name, which is optional, we recommend that you leave the rest of the settings on this page as the default ones that GetResponse chose for you. When you're ready, click Save Web Form right here and then click Next Step. Now on this page, choose I will install my web form, right there. Now next you're going to copy the code right here under Show JavaScript Code. And you're going to copy that by right clicking and pressing Copy. Installing your form on your site. Once you've copied that bit of code, you're ready to install your opt-in form on your website. Log into your WordPress backend by adding forward slash wp-admin to the end of your URL. For example, if your URL is www.mysite.com, you would get to your WordPress backend by going to www.mysite.com forward slash wp-admin. You can then log in with your username and password. For more help with logging into your WordPress backend, visit www.brainhost.com forward slash help forward slash WordPress dash questions forward slash WordPress login. Now once you've logged in, you'll see something similar to this. If you don't, just click on dashboard right here. Now what we're interested in is the email opt-in form box right here. Now on that box, paste the code you copied from GetResponse. You can paste by right clicking and selecting paste. Now your code's in there. Now we'll scroll down and click save changes. Now you can visit your website and you should see your opt-in box right there. When someone opts in using your opt-in box, their information will be saved by your GetResponse account. You can log into your GetResponse account to view your list of opt-ins and send them emails. If you need help managing your opt-in list or seeing them emails, contact GetResponse or visit their support page at app.getresponse.com forward slash support.html.